Loveline. Loveline is meant for an adult audience. Loveline may contain sexually oriented content. With sexually oriented content. Listener discretion is advised. Listener discretion is advised. Listener discretion is advised. This is Loveline. 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 With Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. Hey, everybody. What year are we in again, Drew? 91, isn't it? Yeah, maybe 89. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Phone number, everybody. 1-800-L-O-V-E-191. I'm Adam Carolla. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number. Already gave that. Dr. Drew Board for Certified Physician, Dick's Men Specialist. All right. Here's the whole thing. Uh, we uh, have uh, John Cho and Cal Penn in here tonight from uh, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. I'm going to uh, talk all about that movie. We got to do a quick apology here because uh, we got in trouble today, Drew. We? I got in trouble uh, today. Mm. And, uh, and you know, my apologies are always horrible. So uh. I'm, I'm going to try to pull something together. Okay. But I'm going to try to be you? sincere. Will you help me? Okay. Here's what happened last night. We were talking, I was talking about uh, the great uh, civil rights uh, activist, Rosa Parks. Ugh. You were talking about, well, no, but he was talking about the context of, as I recall, going, do, civil I, disobedience, yes. doing things that you are I right in spite of. I was using yes. her as an example yes. of an American who yes. stood up yes. against the law, yes. a brave and noble person to do what was right. Yes. You, you brought her up in the context of telling other people to do things like I that. I was in the midst of a fervent heated heated uh, diatribe diatribe about her standing up to the man yeah when our uh guest uh yelled something out alex borstein yes uh that was uh obscene and i he got incorporated in like a your, retarded yes, mad lib right wove it in <laughs> yes. to rosa parks yes uh i uh and in no that, way and for that i apologize and are ashamed Yes, I am ashamed. Okay. Yes, because I do think she's a great woman, yes. and that's the context in which I brought her up. And you meant, did not mean it to... Did not mean to, to offend any fans of hers or her family. Or race. I, or race. I or am a fan of civil, her and her work. Issues. I'm a fan. You apologize. Yes, I do. Sincerely. Thank you. Genuinely. All right. And I, I, uh, I will pile on and just say thank you uh, that i did not come to your aid and no you should edit have, you you should have stopped I, me. I apologize to you for for committing that's that's very true now uh, anderson yelled the uh, red arrows in my ear because that's halfway what you, into that's, that. that's what you were yelling about was people needed to go through the red arrows the way rosa parks did that's stood right up to the man. that's right some rules right. were meant to be broken is what you that's right asked. rules were meant to be broken she was brave enough to break yeah. them uh, back in how, 1960 I, whatever i do remember at the moment yes. though that thinking how, how did what Alex just said get woven into that. It came out like some sort of Tourette's. It was a mad lip. It was yes. weird. Yeah. All right. It didn't have any, any uh, contextual uh, relationship. Let's uh, let's move on with the uh, happier. <laughs> That's my main main mayonnaise. Uh, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. By the way, a uh, sound uh, sounds like a, a bizarre idea for a film. I saw that uh, Ebert and uh, Ebert Roper. and uh, no, not oh yeah, Roper. Yeah, I did. I can't, you know, um, what's his name? Siskel died. It's been it's been going on thirty five years now, yes, and I yes. can't still can't Me quite too. get it Me right. Too. right. I, I always hesitate. I always yeah. hiccup, and then once I've decided that I'm going to hiccup now every it's time I say it, done. Now now it's a done well, deal. The order changed too. It oh, used that to be Siskel happened? and Ebert. Siskel now Ebert. it's Ebert and Roper. That's so. So the rhythm's me. all off. That's what your it groove's is. off. Bro. I'm a, I'm a, I, anyone who knows me knows that groove and rhythm is is a, is what I'm about. <laughs> because when I'm not, I'm not when I'm not listening to house, I'm listening to tech, <laughs> and I'm usually axing out of my mind. Dig, dig, <laughs> dig. dig. <laughs> all right, <laughs> you going some? Anyone got some Vicks or anything I can put under my nose? <laughs> Two big thumbs up. Yeah, that, that was insane. That was nice, right? Was Did you see nice. that? It was last week. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was insane. We we have a movie that's been advertised as a stoner movie and a stupid movie, and we are proudly that. But uh, it's, in addition, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. uh, we're proud to be able to say, you know what, uh, we're, we're 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 clever on occasion in the movie, and uh, we got a we got a couple of uh, big fat thumbs up from those guys. Yeah, and it's nice. not uh, it's it. This isn't. Well, 
I, it's not the kind of movie that they would normally... Uh, they they give the big thumbs up to anything with the subtitles or the guys with the clubbed feet. Yeah. Or uh, This is uh, 14-year-old uh, Hitler who's struggling with his sexuality. <laughs> and uh, John Cusack <laughs> plays his professor. It's okay. All right. Wait, all right. I never want to see it. And then it's thumbs down to all the junk I don't want to see. Yeah. <laughs> we were pleasantly surprised... Uh, it yeah, was nice, the, huh? Yeah, it was... And, and, and you had no idea beforehand no idea. until you no. saw the show yeah. last week. Yeah. It, oh, we got word. We got word. Uh, uh, we like got a rumor, before. Yeah. Oh, really? Like, hey, we yeah. heard the leak. We heard Ebert and Roper really liked it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. they said it was uh, hysterical. And, uh, oh, you guys did Kimmel tonight, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. How'd that go? Awesome, man. It was a, a disaster. Awesome. It, it was be, a disaster. It can be difficult. Right, that green room. <laughs> <laughs> that green room was insane. The green room was good. It did was you do uh, shots, John? Uh, Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, me neither. Did, did a glass of Chardonnay in there. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. not so I'm a woman, so what? Yeah, you lose. Uh, no, look, I like the booze. I like the wine myself. Okay, is that, is and, that, and no, is that a crime? Make, does it make us gay? No. A Coinc little bit. Coincidentally, but, well, well, we are gay. Coincidentally. Yeah. The love of what, penis makes us gay. Uh, when you put it up each other's asses. It is the constant <laughs> sign. Here we go again. Oh, oh my God. God. Wait a second. Up on that. E Wait a second. Easy, Cal. Easy, Cal. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Now, where's everyone from? John, <laughs> you're a Korean? Uh, that's what my parents tell me. I um, <laughs> I was born in Korea. Mm -hmm. Did most of my growing up uh, in the Los Angeles area. In Glendale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Glendale. Glendale. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Serious melting pot going over there in Glendale. Yeah, and we got the Armenians, we got the oh. Koreans. It's, oh, yes, uh, you yeah. got the Armenians. You got the System of a Down guys living there. Yeah. 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 Word up. Those guys are awesome. And uh, well, John Cal. paged me today out of the blue. I was Hold patience. on a second. John from System of <laughs> yeah. the Down? What do you want? I, I don't know. I got his voicemail. I was like, oh, I, can't, I can't. Well, call can't him back. I did. What did he say? I didn't get him. I got his voicemail. Oh, okay. Cal? Yeah. I'm from New Jersey. What? What's your ethnicity? Oh, uh, East Indian. How's that going? Uh, it it's, <laughs> it's going well. It's going well. I, mm -hmm. I enjoy it. What do you think you know, all this outsourcing stuff? Uh, I'm not a fan of the outsourcing for You're two not. reasons. I'll tell you why. Yeah. I think I think it takes jobs away from uh, from working class people here, and mm -hmm. uh, over there they're they're really getting away with paying people very little with no health care and no insurance. Uh, ah. So it, to me, it's kind of a no win situation. Coming a little America over there. Yeah. Well, that's uh, the man. Now, we had a famous East Indian snafu on this show. I wonder how... What happened? We did. Cal would take... Remember when... when uh, oh, well, when What's-His-Name yes. from uh, What's-Their-Nose yeah. <laughs> were in here? <laughs> what, what happened? What'd you do? Uh-oh. Uh, true. I, no doubt. No doubt. already offered an apology. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah but, Tony, but, yeah. But, but, but we don't have to even bring up the specific, but it was just... Well, the, Tony, uh, no, we've had... No Doubt was on the show uh, some years back. Uh -huh. I ended up putting a curse on them, and then uh, four, 45 million oh, records later. Uh, this curse is still going strong. <laughs> Please put a curse on us, brother. Yeah, it was 10 years ago. I was like, well, I'll never hear from them again. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of that. So long, Flash in the pan. <laughs> Hope you're fine. You're just a law. girl, right? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need you to uh, throw a coat of carnauba wax on my van on your way out, would you, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, that was great. Uh, what happened was, is Gwen was uh, talking about uh, a guy she dated who who was uh she we were talking about ethnicities and dating and 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 inner uh, racial dating and that kind of stuff and Gwen when the whole band was in here was saying uh I dated a guy who was a different uh, nationality one time very casual oh well, uh, what kind of national what nationality was I didn't know the guy was sitting next to her right. you know what I mean <laughs> yeah. you don't do that yeah. you point at the guy right. yeah. you got to give a heads up and let me just <laughs> say this too just in general people need need to give a heads up to their religion to their race if they if they got like a black a wife at home or something because <laughs> yes. I, could, I could immediately start offending yes. people immediately yes. yeah. I'll start throwing around slurs I'll start yes. making fun right. of the Jews right. it'll, it'll turn into a mess <laughs> okay. in a hurry people I, have to tell you whether they're gay especially I gotta know if you're gay yeah, you gotta yeah. I gotta yeah. I gotta know if you're married to a different ethnicity that right. you're not because, yeah, because I'll, I'll, I'll because suss you out once, and stay away from you. But if you've got another weird race at home, yeah, I might be yeah. making fun of him. And the reason yeah. he needs to know is he's got like a Tourette's. He's really going to lean on you when he finds out what the actual weakness is. Right. right. he sees nice. it. Right. So, so yeah. Spot. But we should, we should know. We should know if you're gay. And we should also know if uh, somebody in your family's retarded, for instance, because <laughs> that's another problem area. We could get into. Wow. You, might. You, you should right. give a heads up on a few things. Right. I mean, yeah. if you have those problems. Sure. Yeah. Now you have your own race waiting at home, and everyone's healthy. Right. No one's gay. <laughs> right. Everything's fine. Everyone's all good. And we're cool. I'll just speak freely. 
<laughs> but I, just a little warning. A little heads up. You know, you know what it is, Drew? Uh. You know when uh, houses have animals and they have a sticker in the yeah, window yeah. so the beware. fire department yeah. beware? I'm going to need to see like a yarmulke and like the gay flag. You, you know, just something little, that little represents. Tags. Yeah, little, little tags. tags on your thing so I can yeah. su suss you up. Let's see. What do you got right. there? <laughs> Nothing about... Oh, there's no okay. Big Looks red like, A. No, no American Indian. Don't see the tomahawk. Yeah. No. Oh, those people. Boy, when they're not drinking, they're gambling. <laughs> you, you, you know... What I'm saying is, is I look and size up. Right, right. That, that's what so I'm anyway, saying. Right. You got, you so got, you, he got taken in. He got reeled in big time. And it's, got it, you know in. what? Yeah. That's gentlemanly. But hold on. You know what hold I mean? I, I do the, think so. The yeah. payoff the story is as follows, though. Go ahead. So she said, Gwen said, well, the guy I dated was Indian. And I said, woo, 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 Indian or 7-Eleven Indian? Uh, wow. And, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. That's what I, I, that's what I thought. I said, that's <laughs> wow. a mistake. Yeah. yeah. Did yeah. you? But you, Tony, did you realize that he was no, Indian? No, no, yeah, no. yeah. No. He, he, I didn't know what he was. Yeah, I didn't and what, know did, what he was, what was again? The if he'd been wearing the the button, right? I'm sorry that I didn't bring the uh, turban and the picture of Gandhi for the wall. <laughs> would have been nice. Yeah. What, uh, but what turban did the, would have done it? Yeah, by the way. Would, would have sealed yeah. it. Yeah. What did he say? What was the no, reaction? Enough. Turban with the picture of Doug on there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. embedded with it. He was it. PO'd, right. and uh, <laughs> so was she. That was the reaction. Wow. They were, yeah, but, but they were why, PO'd. Why, yeah. I, well, I wanted to ask, why is that such a strong reaction? Because it really had a strong reaction. The 7-Eleven one? I think, you know, it's the same with uh, the recent, uh, the, the new one is uh, Dot or Feather. Oh, you know, yeah, it's yeah. That oh thing. really? Yeah, yeah. I think Hold it's on, because... Me, me <laughs> you want to write that down? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I think it's because it's it's sort of reducing everything to a profession or to a racial signifier, to a physical signifier. Yeah. Uh, so it just kind of bothers. So it's, it's, it's but offensive. But it doesn't bother North American Indians so much. To, to, to uh, There's none of them left. Yeah, no, we killed them all. Remember that? That's the biggest part. Only their spirits cause acid rain. Yeah. No. Well, we haven't had a visit from our friend Chief Running Bear in a long time. All right, well, maybe we will later on. <laughs> in the show, and uh, let's see, uh, oh, John. Yes, John. Any uh, you okay? Uh, no, any any Korean problems? Everything cool? <laughs> I know. I know. We're, we're, who are we not doing good with? Uh, South Korea or North Korea? North Korea. North, North Korea. Korea. Yeah. Not uh, everything Bastards. okay. Yeah, I, I think oh, we're good. Wow. So far. <laughs> yeah, no, no. What about the leader of uh, of of North Korea with the uh, Grecian formula and the Swifty Lazar goggles yeah. Uh, yeah. on there? Who uh, not likes, good for uh, the public image? Uh, likes yeah. denim. Yeah, I want to get a picture with him though. He yeah. likes denim a lot. <laughs> it would be uh, would be nice. He has a great big. You know what? You know what he looks like. Basically, he looks like a uh, gay. Hollywood realtor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just <laughs> crazy black hair, huge frame glasses, sort of a snappy dresser, little overweight, but not too much. Perfect look. Uh, Kim. See Kim? Yeah. yeah. Good people. All right. So, uh, Harold and uh, Kumar go to uh, White Castle. I have never had a White Castle burger, by the way. Oh, well, let me explain them to you. Please. Uh, there, White Castle is a burger chain in the uh, Midwest and the East Coast of this country. They have... Uh, they they have very small burgers. Right, that's their thing. Uh, right. you buy them by the dozen, and uh, they're morsel sized. Right, uh, and you go there uh, typically when you're drunk or stoned. It's uh, only you know I grew up in New Jersey. Adam, I'm gonna interject. It's only ahead. ever crowded after one in the morning. Right. So it's very it's 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 because people are drunk and stoned at that so time. But it's also because they're yeah. open at that hour yeah, too. Yeah, right. Go. Right. There you go. We're moving away from the, uh, you know, from the big SUV-sized burgers. The right. Carl's Jr. has the, uh, right, the seventy-four pound burger, and we're going towards That's the a hybrid, uh, the morsel. That's size right, bite-sized burger. Yeah, but you, you you end up eating twenty-eight of. But could you get lots of different varieties? The one, different kinds of cheese. Uh, right now. Uh, they have no. They do have a jalapeno oh, right. cheeseburger. Uh, they also have deep-fried clam strips. Clam now. strips. Ooh, find nice. Out. Clam time. strips. Yeah. Clam mm. strips. Yeah. Yeah. It oh. Sounds like a little hep C yeah. waiting to happen. Uh, <laughs> and we don't. Now, here's the whole thing. Now, what do you guys think of this? <laughs> what do you guys think of this idea? Because I work with a whole bunch of uh, a holes from all over this country. These guys are. And I, don't, I don't, <laughs> it, don't. Don't get me wrong. I don't just hate people from other lands. I don't like a lot of uh, our own countrymen here. I work with a lot of guys from Philly, and a lot of Boston. guys from Boston, tons of guys from Boston, Chicago, New York, whatever. Everyone, everyone touts the virtues of their sand. Sandwiches. Oh, Pittsburgh, the Pimanti sandwich. You got to yeah. have the Pimantis. They put the French fries and the coleslaw. And then everyone's talking about the White Castle. Everyone's talking about their own Cheese place. Steaks. I had this place called like Hometown, Home home Court or something. Just, just a mall with every one of these places represented. You got your White Castle. You got your In-N-Out Burger. You got your Pimantis. You got, you got every, you got your Philly cheese. You got your specific chain. Right. It's got to be yeah. a chain. 
It's got to be a chain like White Castle. Like people out here right. would want to eat a White Castle, yeah. and I bet people in New Jersey wouldn't mind eating an In and Out wow. burger. Mm -hmm. Wow, See what I'm saying? True. This is just a chain. And when people come to town or whatever, everyone takes uh, your people up there and you <laughs> finally settle. Home Who court. makes a Who? battle burger? Is it the White Castle? Wow. Is it uh, in and out Who's got I can't the better burger? Whether this. this is good for peace or bad for peace. This is good. No, it, it is brings, good. It's because you're, saying, you're saying there's like a, a standoff. This is this is this now, is, now uh, this is a communal. Yeah. This is this oh, okay. is truly a melting pot. So it's a place of love. It, it is. Yeah. It's actually shaped like a pot. <laughs> we actually crawl into it, and we all get in. so fat you're, you're we can't get out. We're ladled into it. The ladle leaves every wow. twenty minutes, three wow. times an hour. If you want to leave. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, the, yeah. If you miss the last ladle, you got to yeah, wait you twenty minutes. You're a freaking visionary, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Take wow. some calls. Thank you. All right, let's get some calls in. Hey, the movie opening people this Friday. By the way, tomorrow, yes, tomorrow, sir. yeah, that's tomorrow. Out tomorrow. Is that tomorrow? Drew's got a book coming out tomorrow. Oh, nice! Yeah, wow. good day the, for us tomorrow. The movie opens tomorrow. <laughs> Drew's book, Drew, really? When painkillers become dangerous. Oh, uh, that's going to be good. It's, it's a thriller. Drew, how, what do you think it's ranking on uh, Amazon? Amazon's going to uh, be. I mean, how many peak, digits? Nine. Peak? How no, many digits? No, it'll have four at its peak. What is this? Uh, what I is mean, how many system? digits? What number will it be, be on the Amazon? It'll be in the thousands. Well, in the thousands. My other one made it all the way to twenty. 20. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Right. True's uh, When Painkillers Attack? <laughs> what is it? That's a Fox when special, pain right? Painkillers Become Dangerous. All right. <laughs> Look for that. <laughs> Jennifer? Yeah? You're 17? Yeah. What's happening? Okay, I have a question. Um, I'm not taking the pill yet, but I'm about to this Sunday. And I don't know what's better, the patch or the pill. Because I heard the, about like side effects. They're the, they're mm -hmm. the same. The patch is for smoking, though. No, no. There's a, there's a birth control patch, <laughs> too. Now, the patch and the pill are exactly the same. They're the same side effects. They're virtually the same medication. It's just the patch. You don't have to remember to take a pill every day. You have to remember to tr change a patch every month. So yeah. the pill doesn't do like worse than the patch? They're the same. Same thing? Well, same thing. Yeah, one of them, uh, yeah, and, uh, but if you're going to forget to take the pill, put on Use the patch. the patch. That's right. Okay. I have one other question. Yeah. yeah, hold on. Dr. Ben, the uh, gynecologist, was in here talking yeah. about one having more estrogen than the other and one man drying you up a little more than the other, perhaps. Maybe the, maybe it was the patch that was lacking a little estrogen. I can't remember. Oh, no, you know what it was? That's, the shot. Maybe oh, it was yeah, the, the shot. Oh, yeah, the shot the shot. The shot's Doctor all who? progesterone. Because let's face it, the other doctors that come in here, that's, that's they're right. shams. Now, they're shams. I love this John Cho guy. He's they're the shams. greatest guy. <laughs> the, thinly, the snake oil salesman, these people. Thinly veneered imposters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, can, you, right. can you feel the intelligence Saw of it this young man? <laughs> Berkeley graduate, I tell you. Berkeley. Is Al he? Berkeley. Yeah, Is there. he? And let's face it. Now let me kiss a little racial ass for a second. Let's face it. <laughs> here it comes. We're, we're one of it's ready? long overdue. Here it comes. It's no. long overdue. No, the, the, the Koreans... And the uh, the Eastern Indians much smarter than the round eyes. Uh, let's face it, they're just they're on the ball. Half of them are doctors. They work. They got a harder work ethic than we do. They're just they're just smart. They're just smarter than we are. Now we uh, we we have more junk than they do. So I don't know how that oh, works Jesus. out. But but oh, they're Jesus. smarter than we are. Let's let's face so, it. Uh, let's face Adam's it. Adam's been in locker rooms across the country. <laughs> no, I don't mean junk. <laughs> Taking polls. No, no, not no. that kind of junk. Not that kind of junk. I mean, we make we make what little brains we have go further somehow. We're able to harness our small brain power mm. and convert it into bigger cars and larger houses. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but you guys are smarter. I'm going to get in You're trouble smarter. from Indian people for saying this, but uh, I don't think we're smarter as a whole. Let me tell you why. Why? I think people, you know... Oh, uh, within uh, India, there's all this kind of right, divisiveness. Right, right. I mean, the, the, it, uh, you know... The Pakistan border, there's yeah, all this yeah. stuff. And, and immigration trends in the U.S., post-65, there was something called the Asian Exclusion Act that was lifted to fill a labor shortage in medicine, engineering, etc. Oh, really? Here. So that's why there's the perception that Indian people are smarter because yeah. they were only allowed to come if they were filling a labor we, shortage. We skim the cream yeah. off the top yeah. of yeah. the Indian That's the same with the Korean people, I think. Um, in the 80s, the no, easiest visa to get... Koreans are just smart. <laughs> Let him finish, Drew. I and, think uh, it's demeaning his culture. And taut and muscular. No, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the Koreans, uh, the easiest visa to get was a student visa. So, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you know, and so you got a lot of postgraduate people coming uh -huh. over here and their children were encouraged. But that's to, good. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. But well, what I'm saying is we're getting like kind of an upper class. It creates uh, a Koreans false, over here. false yeah. illusion. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's why... Um, Black, we think black men have bigger penises. I <laughs> argue that they won't only black penis we ever see is in porn, mm -hmm. and they're not going to let a black guy with a small pecker in porn. So all we see is the big ones. 
Think about that. It's the same with it's the doctor and yeah. thing, but it's so just much a little the, twist. So much for the apology he huh. offered. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah. Boy, that, that's, that's, we, that's we not veered saying away. anything bad. No, it's all good. <laughs> all right. Where are we going here, Drew? Line five. Where the Line hell are five. we going, people? Let's go, everybody. Break it down. Brittany. Hey, how's it going? You're hey, 17? Brittany. Huh? You're 17? Yeah. What's happening? Okay, so I was with this girl for six months. Mm-hmm. And... Things were really, really great, but prior to me, she was with the You're same guy for three years. True, please. Yes. And we broke up because she was cheating on me with him. Wow. And so we're trying to be friends. But it's mm -hmm. really hard, only because some days she's totally stuck up and cold towards me. And mm -hmm. that's usually the day she's hanging around her ex. You're a lesbian. Yeah. True, please. Yes. We heard you. <laughs> yes. And then I'm sorry. the next sorry. day she'll totally be all over me and want to be mm. hooking up and all. And it's really yeah. confusing because... You know, I saw about a half hour of Monster tonight. Uh -huh. It's about a lesbian relationship. Oh, the movie, yeah. Yeah, and uh, man, was that accurate. One of the few films that has a lot of heavy interpersonals where it was so really? accurate. Well, what was? What, what was well, well the, obviously, the, this, this friend of yours is a chaotic person. Right. She's, she's got a history of some something, and she's acting out the chaos with you. And just, I, I think the unfortunate reality is you have to distance yourself from her. But the thing yeah, but unless you want to do that dance. I mean, if you're chaotic, it's mm -hmm. like a, a moth drawn to the flame. You can't help but do that chaos dance. Is that you? I mean, do you... Do you want to live that sort of yo-yoing life? Well, no. Just the thing is, she's 18 and she has a kid. And oh. I'm really oh my attached God. to her kid. Oh. So oh. much the better. You're attached to the kid. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh. How long have you been in you know the child? Um, since February. Yeah. All right. And you're, you're 17. I mean, you're a kid yourself. Yeah. How old is the child? 43. It's just like, I don't know what to... What, what do you think, Drew? I'm best sure way to get over her. You wouldn't remember any of this? Or yeah, it's not four really. How old is the kid? The kid, he turned one today, and I wasn't allowed right. to the birthday party because the dad was yeah, you're, there. Yeah, stay away from this child. That's enough. It, it's it's better you stay away. It's yeah. not cool for the kid, right? Not yeah. cool at all. Yeah. Hey, uh, Brittany? Uh-huh? I'm not sure what's going on with you either. You sound like you got a little chaos in your blood, too. But how about you don't get pregnant, stay away from the chaotic chick? She's a lesbian. That's well, good. no thanks to you guys, but guys absolutely do nothing to me. Excellent. <laughs> good. Good. That's good. That's, that's the good so I don't think that's I'm going to be getting pregnant anytime soon, you know? I'm yeah. a lesbian. Yeah. You never know, though. Just True. just, uh, just stay, stay with the chicks. And Drew, we heard you the first three times. Please. Yeah. Please. Right? Really? He, it's like he's in love with that word. <laughs> the first one really was Drew. It was <laughs> not. <laughs> yeah, what? Right. Brittany. Yeah. You're Mormon? I, I say uh, <laughs> good times. Uh, stay in school. Find Jesus Christ. Do you have a uh, you have a novelty uh, lesbian interest that we could make fun of, like uh, you know black powder rifles or something? It's always funny when someone when a lesbian is into something that's really not good. really a lesbian. Nothing good. No. All right. Here's the thing about lesbian relationships: you know, so they are very intense. W women have a real difficult time letting go once they've been intimate with another woman and, really? and genuinely close. Mm. It's very painful for them to let go. So really? Yeah, it is. I, 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 I concur. concur. Yeah. I've yeah. seen that. I've, I've, I've been to a bunch of bachelor parties where the chicks were going at it. Pretty really? Good. Yeah. yeah. And they just got in separate cars and drove the other yeah, way. That's weird. Over. Yeah. So your experience is different. Yeah, that's, that's different. Simulated. Different. That, that's simulated lesbian. Ah, uh, odd. See, I had seemed like that's you know, for, the, for the male enjoyment as opposed for the reality. I don't know. No, I thought they were into it. <laughs> they were smiling. <laughs> the one, I mean, they were so into it. The one was like uh, drump, uh, dumping like a wine cooler. And it was dripping, <laughs> dripping down her, and the other was drinking off her parts. Oh, you know? I, mean, yeah. I mean, obviously, yeah. they were in love, right? Wine cooler. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't be doing that in front of 25 guys unless you're really, <laughs> really into it, right? <laughs> that, they must be so it. They didn't notice those guys and what they were doing. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. They say love is blind. That's it. it also, has, it has no peripheral vision either. Yeah. You can't see it's, guys. It's, it's around it's you. Blind, completely blind. Yeah, you're like, ow, keep getting pelted by 20s. What are, where are those coming from? <laughs> All right. <laughs> 20s, wow, that's a great bachelor party. Yeah, oh pelted yeah. Pelted by 20s. You gotta go with Adam. I've, I've really, I've come to the conclusion that since somebody decided that 20s was the denomination that was going to come out of ATMs, mm -hmm. everything has become $20. Yeah. You know, tips when you get the ta car to the airport, the lap dance is 20 bucks. Everything's going to become $20 soon. Candy bars, $20. Every, haircuts, and everything that's 20 That's by design, brother. Well, that's what, that, no, yeah. The man. No, that's what I'm talking They've about. They've got $5 and $10 bills. Did you know that? 
I, no, I, they make them. They make them. They make them. They make them, but they, they, they don't them. give them out of the machines. That's right. And if they would, if they would, if they would start, if they spit nickels out of that, a lap dance would be a nickel. And God help us if somebody would give you change for a freaking twenty. That's right. And it's right. And oh boy, you frowned upon. He handed a guy twenty. Went a little. Went a little oh, back. Oh. Oh no. Oh, yeah, slap yeah. in the face. No, this has become the common denomination now because it's what's come out of ATMs. I swear, if it was ten bucks, lap dances would be a ten bucks. And if some guy gave you a town car to the uh, airport and you gave him a ten, it'd be he'd be perfectly happy. When I'm in charge, only ten. No. Seven dollar and fifty cent bills will come out of the ATM. <laughs> you b- bank on it. Take that to the bank. All right, we got to take Help a break. Is on the way. John and Cal both here tonight from Harold and Kumar. Go to White Castle out tomorrow, along with Doctor's. Drew's book, everybody. Yeah. Same crowd, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Same, Same group. Yeah. Same group. Well, it could, yeah. in reality, they, they could be benefited from my book. Yeah. What are you do? When uh, Benadryl attacks. I think they the, should they should take painkillers, see our movie, and then read the book. That's nice. right. Smart. Just leave for the nice. parents. It's a hat the trick. Yeah. Nice. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. 1-800-L-O-V-E-191. Bloodline will be right back. Hey everybody, it's Loveline. I'm Adam, that's Dr. Drew, phone number 1-800-L-O-V-E-191. Cal Penn, John Cho, here tonight from Harold and Kumar. Go to White Castle. Opens tomorrow everywhere. And um, by the way, this <clears throat> this is the way I think you need to do a movie. <laughs> and in and, and, and that, in that, um, you, didn't, you don't hear much about it until it's ready to come out. Which uh, I'd heard of the title... And I'd heard it kicked about a little bit, but I wasn't seeing posters everywhere. Yeah. There's some movies, you start seeing posters in uh, bus stop billboards and stuff. Way ahead. Seems like four or five months. And then when it does come out, in your mind, it's been out for two months. Yeah. And mm. it's coming out, and you think it's coming out on DVD when it's actually finally getting to the theaters because you've been seeing the goddamn posters for four months. It's nice just to sort of peak at the right time. You know what it's like? It's like a baseball team playing 500 ball all season, Mm -hmm. and then the last month everyone starts hitting, and you make that run toward the pennant. That's what Harold and Kumar go to White Cap. That's that's right. It's an insecurity that these lesser films have. Needing to publicize Spider Man Two, Spider Man Two, <laughs> Titanic, you know, other films like that. It Star is, but Wars, <laughs> The Phantom Menace. There's certain movies like the uh, new, um, oh, I don't know, Knights of the Round Table, whatever movie that just sort of came and went. It was like, I, is King Arthur? Yeah. Is it? Is it? Was it out? It, I remember we passed a poster, me and a guy the other day, and said, "Did that movie come out? Did it come? Did it go?" And by the way, when your movie's gone, take the poster down. It's very confusing for me. Some, yeah. Sometimes the poster poster stays up for four months and you're like yeah i don't see that and it's like that's gone that that movie has there's been an american four pie poster american wedding poster still up on santa monica boulevard wow. my house. seriously yeah I, I, it's, DVD, it's totally yellowed huh. wow well, yeah it's just i think if nobody else buys that piece of advertising yeah, space right. the last one just sits there they're not going to go up there and you know paint it white all right so this movie comes out tomorrow, tomorrow. and uh drew's book comes out tomorrow, tomorrow. Oh, we're man. gonna kill you drew Pe- i know no doubt <laughs> people lining up I, at the I barnes guys, and noble already i was I'm at sure. a, i was at uh, a bathroom i was at a urinal tonight and yes. about earlier this afternoon i thought man these guys are gonna make it when i noticed they had their poster right there when you stand and look at the wall that, that wasn't a poster that was that us, us. You were saying, looking behind the wall. Actually, yeah, stood yeah. behind the urinal. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> actually, stuffed themselves into a like plumbing wall. Yeah. Do you notice the eyeballs moved? <laughs> like this, like this. <laughs> that's good radio, Cal. Yeah, I know. It's perfect uh-huh. radio. Nobody knew what I was doing. <laughs> I do miss the cut out the uh, eyes in the picture gag, though, <laughs> where they follow the person across the room. Leah? Hi. You're 16? Yep. What's up? Um, I just started taking ortho ever the patch mm-hmm. or using it like yep. two weeks ago and I started my period like the very next day mm-hmm. and um, it's been going on for nine days and usually it's only four so I was wondering yeah that's not your period that's they're basically just on mid-cycle bleeding from the pill so you gotta call okay. your doctor about that you can have bleeding all month long when you're on the pill 
It's not, it's not probably not your period. Let me tell you something about women. They don't need a holiday or an excuse or a weekend Any bleed. Day's a period. Every day is period day. No, they could just <laughs> constantly bleed. It could just be a, just a constant torrent Every of blood coming out of their vagina, day. and it's all fine. <laughs> Every day. This is probably not your period. It's just bleeding, which occurs mid-cycle from these kinds of hormonal contraceptives. Okay. Thank you. You don't get what I'm saying, right? Um, kind of. I guess I just have to go to my doctor's. Yeah, when yeah. you, when you the, well, the here's the thing you've you've disappointed her because she decided what was wrong yeah, was with her period. going in, yeah. and you told her it was something else. You didn't want to hear anything right. about it. When you take a bunch of estrogen, it can make the lining of the uterus unstable, and the who are you talking and to? The top can slough off and bleed. That's right. It happened to me in high school way more than once. <laughs> Kid put a bunch of estrogen in uh, my Salisbury <laughs> steak, and I started sloughing off. Weird. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Your vagina fell out, right? Well, not the not the outside part. Okay, that that's still works. So the guys on the prolapse. football se- team were still, you know, were still pretty popular. <laughs> prolapse <laughs> vaginas <laughs> actually happen. What happened? Vagina. Prolapse vagina. Are you serious? Out. They yeah. fall out. Mm? No, really. Mm. And you pop it back in, or what do you? Uh, you can put a pessary in there, hold it back up there. Usually, you have to have some sort of surgical thing. To I bring think it. we wow. had to do that with one of the strippers Imagine, at the bachelor oh party once. Push the vagina back inside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, the happy wine cooler. That's awesome. Yeah. They're, they're, the ligaments hold the uterus out. They can become lax. The whole uterus can come peeking down through there. As you Eventually, don't you just turn inside Lord. out? What is this called? Prolapse. Uterine or vaginal prolapse. Yeah. Vaginal yeah. prolapse. I'm Cal is actually writing this down. Is that like just the same vaginal. prolapse as the mitral You're not valve? That test prolapse. No. The prolapse is mean just it's going backwards the wrong direction. So. Uh huh. All right. All right. Did it ever happen to guys have any version of that? Rectal ever prolapse. like uh, whiz out your Whoa. liver or anything? Whoa. Rectal, rectal Whoa. prolapse? Whoa. Wow, Whoa. I was in that band. Wow. That'd be a good band. <laughs> rectal, rectal, rectal prolapse. prolapse. <laughs> so it's possible as a woman to have both rectal and vaginal prolapse. It is true. And that's not all that uncommon. Wow. And that's what kills me. The people are having anal sex. That they, they don't understand what can go wrong. You they assume they're never going to get old. They don't, oh I'm never going to get old. Yeah. 75 with a nice little pro. One minute, you're, you're wearing uh, your oh boyfriend's uh, anus on you like, uh, like a promise ring. That's you know what I'm, what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what I'm wow. saying. Wow. Yeah. And the both of you got to go into the hospital because you're wearing his prolapsed anus. <laughs> And you have to maintain your erection, otherwise it'll fall off and get dirty. <laughs> Yet, you've never been more turned off. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I'm a, what a I'm quandary. Imagine. That's yeah. my awesome. God. Yeah. Too much, too much. So, imagine it's carnage yeah. all around you. Yeah. Yet, if you lose yeah. your erection, his penis, his yeah. anus yeah. will fall off under the that filthy... It's like a gay myth of Sisyphus. Uh, it's, it's, in, in, it's bizarre. Yeah. And, and, and it will fall off under that filthy uh, sawdust floor. Because when the gays have sex, yes. they usually do it in the bar Did you say the gays? Setting. I said the gays. No. Okay. I'm a a new a new uh, mm-hmm. episode of the, the ring. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Gotta good. keep it going. <laughs> um, <laughs> anal prolapse. I love everybody. the sawdust floor. Rectal <laughs> prolapse. Rectal, anus doesn't matter. Rectal, rectal prolapse. prolapse is rectal out of the anus. Prolapse. <laughs> Yeah, that's that, the cover band, but, Anal Prolapse. Anal Prolapse. Well, they're not cover band, they're a tribute band. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's get it straight. <laughs> ben? Uh, yeah? yeah? I love it. The guy gets up there and he goes, Hi, we are, uh, we are, well, no, wait, what is, uh, rectal prolapse. We are uh, rectal, now wait, what is anal the first prolapse. band? Yeah, anal. Now wait, we're rectal prolapse, we're a tribute br- band, <laughs> we do not claim to be anal pro- prolapse. We merely cover their songs, and we're fans just like you are of the AP. <laughs> All right. Ben? Yes? You're uh, 19? Yes, I am. Yeah. This is a tribute radio show, by the way. We're not the actual love line. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. What's That's up, Ben? Fine. <laughs> yeah. What's happening, buddy? Not a whole lot. All right. Um, I'm just, uh, I had sex with a girl about a month ago for the first time. Yeah, and uh, well, quiet. All my friends, <laughs> you know, all yeah. my friends think it's really cool and everything. But uh, I was having sex with her for like two hours, and I didn't use a condom, and uh, didn't didn't get off on it. Didn't ejaculate. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. It's two extremely hours. common for first outing, young male, to have some kind of sexual dysfunction. Yeah, well, either I, the turtle action where the penis doesn't want to come out and play. Yeah, or loss of erection, or difficulty orgasm, these are are too soon. That's probably the most common. Well, isn't uh, doesn't almost everything need to be broken in? A new car, a baseball mitt, a new uh, uh, new set of testes. You you know what I mean? (laughs) Almost everything needs a needs needs a little oil, needs a little work. Right at the top, especially with the human. Yeah, nothing happens. Nothing works right at the beginning. Well, it it, it took me about a week and a half to uh, start jacking off again and uh you know it's just 
it wasn't the same. I mean, it. You're I mean, ben, you're all freaked out. You're Hold 19. on, this, this could be bogus. Hey, hey this I has a totally bogus call. Does a bogus call? I agree bogus, with you. But I think bogus call. What? Ooh, I'm, ooh oh, that's a yeah. big red flag. Yeah. Uh huh. Who me? No, no, I'm serious. What What happened to me was like a month ago, and I'm just. I've been freaked out about it. Today. I just think he's totally freaked out. I, I, I get it. I, that's really? completely, totally freaked out. Right, well, For no what, good reason, What ben. girl was this? I I don't know. I, I got tested like uh, a week ago. I got the results back today. Mm-hmm. And I'm, you know, I'm normal, of course. I don't have anything, but... Where'd you meet the girl? I've known her most of my life. Um, you have? She's she's about 22, and she's my sister's friend. Yeah. And All right. You're going you gonna to get to have sex with her again? No, definitely not. Why not? Uh, well, it's just she doesn't live here anymore. She left like that week. Uh, I think he's totally freaked out. He's 19. Have freaked, freaked out? out. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I've, in fact, okay. you know, that Saturday afterwards, Uh-oh. it happened on like a Thursday. I was just, it's torn me apart inside pretty much. <laughs> for not having sex for two hours and not having an orgasm? Well, I mean, it's just, it was my first time, and I just didn't know how to handle it, didn't know how to... Deal with it. All right, let me just it say this. Like, can, can, do you think that the, the whole older thing freaked him out a little bit, no, too? No, I just think I think this is a... He got right, a late start. Yeah, he's, immature, mm-hmm. anxious. Right. A lot of issues. Not not horrible, but he's got, got to kind of... He's got to experience himself in some relationships. And here's the deal, Ben. God, God uh, help you if uh, you ever get accused of a crime you didn't commit. Like the cops uh, pull you, in, pull oh. you in and question you because yeah, uh, they're guilt. just going to throw guilt. the book at you. But is it just execute you right there? Guilt seems to be the primary issue that's keeping him from functioning. He's so guilty. It tore me apart. I had sex and uh, mm. yeah, guilt tore me apart. You got to bang your sister's friend for, for two, two hours. hours. What, what's the problem? Yeah, that's like forty something outings for me. That's fine. Forty, 40 that's, 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 that's it's like forty thousand times more than what you'd had by that point in your life. At nineteen, yeah. yeah, I know. I was in the middle of a drought. I had a huge drought from... Uh, oh, to zero to 19? <laughs> zero to 22? <laughs> keep going. <laughs> you only got to 22. You, only, you got to actually get past the age I am now. Oh, wow. I don't plan drought. on coming out of it for a few years. All right. Let's take uh, ourselves a little break. Uh, Harold and Kumar both here tonight from uh, Harold and Kumar. Go to uh, White Castle. It is out tomorrow, yo. We'll take a quick break. Am I boring you, Drew? Always. We'll be back. We'll be back after this. If you need help, hang up and then dive, dive. Love line. Hey, everybody. Love line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Cal Penn here tonight. John Cho. Boy, almost no syllables in these two guys' names. It's I good. like yeah. that. Very yeah. quick. Yeah. Streamlined. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Aerodynamic. How? And, and no funky parentally uh, manipulated names. Yeah, they spell yeah. them the way they should spell them. Yeah, yeah except for oh, maybe yeah. the cow. Yeah, we've been getting, yeah. you know, the, signing the autographs. It's uh, People have uh, four or five instructions with the names. I, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't, I don't like either. It. No, we yeah. hate it. Yeah. yeah. Six yeah. ends, Debbie yeah. with five eyes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that? Yeah, true. It was always, uh, oh uh, you've never seen me at my uh, my bigger a-holeness than uh, when I'm refusing to pe- spell Cindy with an S. Right. <laughs> it's just, uh, <laughs> tell no, your parents to kiss my ass. Tell them, tell them the parents that uh, uh, t- go home and kick I'm your parents down and, 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 oh. You know, uh, you, you know, the worst is, is the, uh, the parents that name their kid a name that sounds almost like a name. Like uh, there, there, there are people out there. It's like, what's your name? What's your name, Debra? Deb- <laughs> Be like, excuse me, Debra, Debra. Is it Debra? No, no, it's not Debra. It's Rebra. It's like, okay, every single person you come in contact with for your entire life, you have to stop, hiccup, go back, fix the thing because it sounds like another name. Or when they don't, they don't tell you sometimes. Yes. Like, like you know, they should wear it like the thing you were saying. They should should wear signifiers. You know, it's I like know. it's yeah. uh, it's Jen, and you write Jen. No, with a with a G. Yeah, yeah. My favorite is no. a- Amy. A I M E E. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. no. Uh, listen, no. and when I'm in charge, not only will people have to wear the badge that signifies whatever <laughs> wacky, this, and it's gonna have ev- it'll have everything on there. Hey, if they got a f- if they have a prosthetic limb that I don't know about, I want to know. I might start yeah. getting into some stump humor. I want to know <laughs> because if they're wearing long pants and and like uh, mucklocks, I'm not gonna be able to tell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The I hell want are mucklucks? They want yeah. Uggs. The Uggs. Uggs. Uggs or, or mucklucks. Uh, all I'm saying is, is 
part of the part of the thing is I will I will count names it, like words, and there will be one spelling for yes, that, and that's it. There's one a, spelling a, a, a Geneva Convention on first name. <laughs> There's one one spelling <laughs> for 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 different for newspaper for stop for go. There's one spelling. That's all there will be for names. All the Amys, and then then we'll start working on uh, all the Andreas and the Andreas and and that business mm. too. Because I'm gonna you know where this came up. This came up today with the. Uh, it's not uh, Teresa Heinz Carey. Oh. It's Ter Teresa, Teresa Heinz Carey. No, it's Teresa now, sweetie P. We ain't your uh, native Latvia over here. You're, it's called the White House, <laughs> not the Hungarian House. Now get in there and rattle them pots and pans. And it's Teresa while you're in there. And by the way, do we need? We're not allowed to have a foreign president. What no, about no. his wife? What about his old lady? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm hmm. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. That Schwarzenegger's one step away from getting in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's gonna. It's not gonna open the door for him. It's gonna loosen it up. Little accent in the White House. <laughs> nice Little. transition into Schwarzenegger sliding in there. Think about it. This is it. It's a good time. It's going to not open the door, but just... Jig a little. You know when you're leaving and uh, you don't want it to, the hotel room to lock behind you and you just shove your slipper in there? That's all this is going to be. Teresa I, like her, Hines. I like her too. I like her too, but yeah. it's Teresa. She gets she's in here now. It's Teresa. So, so if she's if she starts going with your version, she'll she, be fine. she goes she's by fine. Teresa. I'm, I'm cool okay with her. With I don't okay. want her with that Teresa stuff. You understand? Here Teresa. Break All right. Down. I may even start calling her Terry. Or maybe even like Connie. Just <laughs> Amber. <confuse her>. Twenty four. <laughs> Amber. Hi. Amber. Hi. Uh, um You're so twenty four. Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing here? Um my question was if you can tell whether you've had a miscarriage or if it's just regular shedding of your uterine lining by, like, hormone checks. It's difficult. But, well, okay. you asked three different questions there. Can, can you tell if you're having a miscarriage or not? Basically not, although with an with a early pregnancy miscarriage, obviously it's, you know, it's heavy bleeding and more cramping. Mm -hmm. Okay, and would, like, the cramping be more intense? I mean, no, well, it, listen, if you think you're pregnant and you're having bleeding and abdominal pain, it's considered a tubal pregnancy until proven otherwise. Mm -hmm. So you have to be extremely careful with that sort of symptom. Told you, Cal. Yeah. Okay. And God <laughs> and your hairdresser really know if you're having, you know, <laughs> hairdresser. Yeah. Well, what's, what's going well, on? Well, um, I had sex with my boyfriend. Like, it was um, Sunday, actually, and the condom did slip off. Did you take and, the morning after um, pill? What was that? I'm sorry. Did you did you get the morning after pill? It didn't. How come? Um, because I flew out that day and I just was busy. You know what answer I I like and I'll always busy, it will always busy. be acceptable on this show is the long beat and because I'm stupid. Um, I was, I'm fine with that. It I'm immediately makes a person okay with me. Yeah, but still. Yeah, but still <laughs> will work too. But uh, go ahead, Amber. So you flew out. You didn't take the morning after pill. You think you might be pregnant. How long ago did well, this happen? I don't. I don't. I just, like, wonder, like, I'm bleeding, like, a week and a half earlier than I thought how long I would ago did, How long ago did this happen? Uh, Sunday night. Four days ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not good. That's not good. Why? Because it's too late for the morning it's after pill. You know what they can do now, though, is they can actually put an IUD in and try to prevent implantation. Really? Now, that is an abortion maneuver. It is? Yes, that is. And I, I don't necessarily advocate that, but that is another option that can go up to, I think, seven days. Put an IUD in? Yeah. Well, that, that prevents implantation. Well, well, you consider that an abortion five days into the pregnancy? I, I do. You could argue that it is. <laughs> be that as it may. Okay, go, go thump your uh, Bible. I'm just saying, there, be you? that as it may, it's an option that people should consider, somebody like, like uh, right. Amber here. All right, so Amber, yeah. let me explain something. Once every uh, three shows, Drew opens his black notebook, he thumbs through some paperwork, he never finds what he's looking for, and then <laughs> he shuts it and puts it back again. <laughs> so, Drew, why don't you just shut it now and put it back? Because you've never it? found anything. I brought it last night. You've never found anything in that book. All right, Amber. But but the point is though that she may not have. The, I I I've always I defended the morning after pill because it's not an abortive pill. It does not cause abortion. Right. I want to be super clear about that and get behind that product. Yes. Other kinds of interventions that actually are causing abortions, like RU you four eighty six or putting a copper T in you know, one of these IUDs in right. after the fact, that is right. an abortive. But some people may want to take advantage of that. Right. But it's still you know not vacuuming out no. someone the size of Webster. <laughs> no, it's not Webster. <laughs> okay. No. Goodness. It's All not right. Gary Coleman. Coming All right. Thank you. Thank Gary you. Coleman. Different, different actor.
That's Emmanuel Lewis. Wow. Even smaller. All right. You know, Gary Coleman is not a tall man, but he's, 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 he's husky. a husky man. <laughs> and he, I think he's a black belt, so he will take you down. Well, that's the vaginal prolapse. <laughs> that's true. Nice. All right. Let's uh, talk to uh, Brianna, who has a uh, solution to the uh, problem of all the... How uh, satisfying will this be? Red... Uh, on on a, on a scale, give me a scale. No, no, hold on. She has a solution to uh, the problem of all the red arrows that are popping up in Los Angeles and driving me insane. While while I sit at a intersections where the light is green and the arrow is red, gotcha. and there's no traffic coming, <laughs> and I just sit there rotting, waiting yeah. to be t-boned by a drunk driver. One to ten. Brianna, one being unsatisfying, ten being very satisfying. This will be a point three. <laughs> all right. I guarantee no solution and no satisfaction. Brianna, go, Brianna. Yeah. What is your solution to this problem? Michigan, by the way. We have blinking reds so that if there's traffic on the other side, you have to wait until it clears, and then once it clears, you can go. That's in the middle of the night, right? Right. No, it's all the time. Right, right. And that's, you're, a, that's called a stop sign. You're, you're in Michigan. You're, you're, you're blinking red is a stop sign. Oh, you're blinking red. You mean, yeah. uh, but not all your, Do you have arrows? We do. We, have, we don't have red arrows, though. You don't. You, you just have, have your your yeah, reds. Your reds at a certain time will just be blink, and that means you stop and then no, go when it's clear. No, it's all the time. We have all like our time. left turn lanes. You yeah. have unprotected and protected um, left turns, and mm -hmm. your protected left turns is a regular stoplight, but it only has a green arrow, and then it has a yellow light and a red light. And once like oh, the green what? light goes for people to go straight or whatever. Yeah. It starts flashing red, and you can right. go. You right, can right, right. Go. That's a good that's point. A yield. Yeah. That's a left turn yield. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. So we, we don't Pasadena. have that in we this city. We're not. Pasadena has that. Not Los Angeles. We're not advanced enough. Uh, we, we live in a city who never stops talking about living in a desert and water conservation. Then every night when it rains and I'm driving home, I see the sprinklers going off because we got <laughs> by the side of the freeway because we can't even figure that goddamn thing out. <laughs> Hold on a second, because I'm I'm going to get going again. No, no. After the break. no, after the break. Yeah. After after the break. Cal and John are both here. There's star of uh, Harold. Kumar, go to White Castle. We'll be right Thank back you. to talk a little high tech with you after this. All right, guys. Bottom line, here's the deal. Looking to hook up? Sick of wasting time with the wrong person? One call's all you need to make. Call the Dateline. The Dateline. 877-889-DATE. Love Line with Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. 1-800-LOVE-191. Wow, wow, wow. You can feel you can feel you can feel you can you can We'll be right back. Hey, everybody. You heard it here. <laughs> how dare you? Wow. How dare you stereotype? <laughs> That's how you brought it in, huh? Even a good stereotype. Hey, it's Loveline, everybody. Cal Penn is here tonight. Uh, John Cho here tonight. Asians are studious. <laughs> Harold and Kumar. We're studying here with encyclopedias. <laughs> like, uh, by the way, this is, what, this is a funny thing that, you know... Uh, the Asians freaking love this movie partly because there's kind of a I've been calling it like a democracy of vulgarity. Mm -hmm. They're just like, thank God you are you are as stupid as I am in real life, and the Asians seem to appreciate that because we've been portrayed as so noble. Yeah, you know, in yeah. the film. So, well, let me let me give you my take on the Asians and how they're <laughs> oh, how they're portrayed. Bridge over the river, the bridge over the river Kwai, very noble, very noble. Bri no, yeah. that drew, please. That was a wartime movie. Oh, oh, I think so. I'm saying this: the Asians get here's what they get. They either get the certain of super they 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 they're either bowing with the thick glasses yeah. and the ties and all this that sort of real businessman stereotype thing or it's the uh, kid with the squatted acura and the hair spiked up that almost yeah. looks uh looks like uh, something out of a comic book you know anime. they don't have any anime right there's not the you know the motorcycle asian on the pocket rocket uh, motorcycle gang that all come pulling up with the submachine gun <laughs> kind of thing all that fast and furious stuff there's they don't they don't portray the in between asian yeah, right. that's Guy, where we come in Guy, yeah, guy puts a puts a handful of gel in his hair, but just a handful, right. just not, one handful, not a very human cup. amount of gel. <laughs> yeah, right, right. The yeah. the in the, the tweener yeah. Asian. Yeah. What about it, Drew? Yeah. Oh, I'll Drew, what are we doing about it? Drew, what are we film. doing about it? He asked you a question, man. <laughs> <laughs> Answer right. in a clear voice. I, I am, I am saying that John Cho is the in-between Asian. He's the he, is, he is riding That's a lot the fence. Of pressure. That's he a lot of is, pressure. he is joining the guys with the squatted actors. I'm holding his hand. Thick glasses. I'm holding and that guy's hand. Cases, and he's saying, "Brothers, I'm one of you." And I'm bringing you two together, and you are me, and I am you, and I am in between, and I'm going to cash in and make a movie, and then I'm going <laughs> to keep the money. 
All right, but, um, <laughs> but, but where or what? <laughs> I'll take you to the sandwich place. That's right. And I'm, I'm treating. That's right, but just the six-inch sub, not the big 12-incher. <laughs> Let's not get crazy here. <laughs> All right, and uh, what about the uh, the uh, Eastern Indians? Do we we don't need anything out of them. We don't need any tweeners. They're they're bridged. They're fine. I think we're, we're all cool we're all put them. together. Yeah, yeah, we're cool. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's let's play Germany or Florida. This is Fabulous. a game that's sweeping the uh, country. Germany or Florida? Ooh, yeah, Germany this. or Florida. I Here's how this. it goes: all bizarre stories either come out of Germany or Florida. Macabre. We hear the the, the occult and the macabre. macabre. We hear the story and then we make the call. Is it Germany or Florida? Theme Le- song, Lisa. Hi. I think we need to hear our theme song first, Anderson. Oh. Okay, Anderson's going number two. All right. Well, when you're done yelling at Brian, play. <laughs> play Brian just screwed Germany. up so much stuff. I'm sorry. I, I'm, all right, I'm halfway all right. in the hall screaming at him. Hold on. Okay. Well, he has a disability. Things are sick and twisted from go. too much sun and Nazis. Sex myth and death fetishes. Both of them have got these. Guaranteed not to bore you. Germany or Florida. And baldness is like- not a disability. Seem like a uh, seem like a long wait for a really really bad <laughs> wow. cab. Yeah. I know, yeah. but but that's our theme. All right, Lisa. Hi. Hi, baby doll. <laughs> All right, a man cut off his toes, fried them up, and ate them between two slices of bread after getting high, sniffing butane gas. When ambulance men arrived, he offered to share his meal with them, saying, "It tastes like chicken. Do you want some? There's still a few left over." Police said the 35-year-old suddenly became very hungry after sniffing the gas and had searched all his kitchen cupboards but found nothing to eat. Grabbing a kitchen knife, he cut off his toes on his left foot and dropped them in the frying pan. The man's sister called the police when she walked into the kitchen and saw him making the toast sandwich. By the time ambulance men arrived, there was there was too little of the hacked-off toes left, and a spokesman said what there was was too badly burned to reattach. A police spokesman also added, he told the ambulance man that he had more toes than he needed and didn't think he would notice if he got rid of a few. He was taken to a hospital where he is recovering from his injuries. All right. Okay. First off, I could see uh, Dr. Scholl's phone ringing very late into the evening, and uh, this is time for him to really earn his keep. I'm suddenly very hungry. Here's the deal. He did not cut his toes up because he was suddenly hungry because of the view. Well, he was hungry, yeah. That is a psychotic fugue state where people do very bizarre and violent things and often are the influence of various drugs and chemicals. All right, but But I'm, I'm... I tell you what, you know, we've had we've had too many people joining in the same answer in right. Germany or Florida. I think we need to write our answers down. Okay. I'm going to write my answer down. Right. I'm going to write down Germany. <laughs> <laughs> the whole fuel thing. Uh, I don't know. Butane, 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 thing. Sort of, butane sort of Germany. The butane butane Germany. feels German. German. Feels German. Feels German. To me. Although a lot of a lot of spokespeople. Well, don't say it. Write it down. A lot of I'm spokes, writing Germany. Go ahead. People and things. Write uh, yours down. I'm writing. Here's down. the other thing. I'm I feel like Germany. there's a whole. Hold on. The hold. style of this article is very Sh- absurdist. Germany. Hold on. Oh, cover cover your Germany. I'm writing okay. Florida secretly. Okay. John. I'm going with Germany. There's a feels German. You know, it feels German to me. The the the, the storytelling method, the kind of uh, How about the guy going for the sausages, the sausages. Okay, you go. all right, Come all right. On. We're going to reveal toast sandwich. I'm gonna, Where's that term sandwich. from? I'm going to reveal my Germany, and you're going to reveal your Germany, and then Cal reveal his Florida, and then John's going to reveal his Germany on Ready? the count of three. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, okay, oh, Germany. Wow. Yeah, okay, wow. all right. Florida, Florida, Florida. 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 Okay, all right, Lisa. It's Germany. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Cal, wow. you are stupid. Wow. Yeah. That's wow. true. You didn't just wow. write that down. You had that written. I had it written. Okay, buddy. All right, Lisa. Good story. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Baby doll. All right. Well, that's how you play Germany okay. or Florida, right. everybody. Yeah. All right. And Why better luck next Florida? time. Thank you. Thank you. You'll not be back. Why did I show. pick Florida? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's good I radio. No good Somebody, reason. There needs to. It, it's it's no four. fun when everyone yeah. goes. I for just the got same. a Florida Dig. vibe. Dig. Chelsea. Yes. You're 16. Yes, I am. What's going on? Uh, well, first off, I love you guys today. Love. Who's us? All of you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I listen to you guys every night. Thank you. That's and, just us. Oh, right. my. School actually. Although I call has, her. My school has a carom club. Carum. No oh, way. You guys play carom. Seriously? Yes, I swear. Oh, my school has a carom club. That is awesome. Where do you go to school? Lodi. Oh. In Jersey? 
No, oh, in California. 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 All right. Yeah. What's it, what, what, what was that? Here is a thing. game. Uh, yeah, thank you. This is this is this is perfect, by the way, because <laughs> here's what happened. Um, a few weeks ago, I posed a question. Do kids play caroms today? And do younger people know what caroms are? To us, if you played caroms, that means you had bad parents right. because they dumped you at the schoolyard and you had three hours to burn every day after after the fifth grade. And caroms is basically a opiate for latchkey kids. Right. It's a way just to keep them busy with a stick and five bucks worth of plywood <laughs> yeah. and, a, and a checker. Yeah. It's a horrible game. It's it's pool for retards. It's basically <laughs> what, what carom is, and it can be played on a trash can. So, here's the whole thing. Now, Drew said, no, nah, I don't think kids today know what caroms are. I said, I think they do, and half the people that called knew and half didn't and we've even split you two, yeah, the two wow. stars of the new new movie. J- uh, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle oh, nice. right down the middle, <laughs> opening Friday on Karam. Now, go ahead, Cal. Explain to John what Karam's are. Well, it's it seems a little different than the way you explained it. Karam, it's a board. It's board, a big board. Piece of uh, plywood. Piece of plywood, and you, you like flick stuff into yeah. these, uh, pockets. these pockets. It's on, a little stick. It, it's Did shuffleboard and pool sort yeah. of yeah. mixed together, but not nearly as good as, good as you, you're you picturing. You can flick or sticks. Okay. Yeah. We, we used to, yeah, we used to flick. We didn't use sticks. And wow. you, and the board, to get it really slick, you put powder on it. Right. And so you had bad powder. parents. Bizarre. No, we played with my parents. Oh, my God. Oh, that's, yeah, oh, that's it was a, a family that's caram That's session. a new level. Better that's they abuse. should have molested you. That's and abuse. then they molested us. Better. Oh, okay, oh, wow. okay, okay. Just okay. kidding. My parents Just are going to take the edge off the caroms. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted to ease him down from the trauma yeah. of the caroms yeah. with a, just a little, just a little right. bit. Right. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's smart. Wow. All right. Now, now Chelsea, so Chelsea's 16, and she's calling from Lodi, which is uh, bad because... It's a uh, ghost town or something. Isn't well, like Creedence Clearwater Revival wrote a song about okay. it, so you know it's not a good town because they don't write songs, happy songs about friendly cities. You know what I mean? 70s, yeah. Song, there's a song from the 70s by Creedence called, like, uh, Gay Perry. <laughs> Santa Barbara. <laughs> no, it's Stuck Out in Lodi again is the name of the song. Yeah. Yeah. And what's your question? Okay, my question's for Cal, actually. Yeah. Um, okay, I watched this thing on the internet on the LonelyIsland.com. Uh-huh. And you're Fred, right? Yes. Okay. I love you guys. I love... That's my favorite website in the world. Thank you. I thought you were going to say you put the Karen pieces in your vagina. And what what, what happens? Uh, what? <laughs> what? There. Just kidding. Jeez. No, 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 I don't no. even know who this you, you've given is. You've too much license. The Lonely Island. Uh, Reel it in. Come on, fellas. The Lonely Island, uh, dot com. That's uh, you know a bunch of friends of mine from college started a, uh, a website where they would upload short films that we made together or mm-hmm. that, that they made. I was just in one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, and now they're writers. They um, you know they write for a lot of uh, they wrote for the MTV thing. We're doing something called G4 to, uh, on Saturday. That sounds show. stupid. They're good writers. That um, you know, I, I'm really glad that you uh, that you enjoyed that. Oh yeah, I loved it. But I wanted to know what it was like, like what they were like. Who? Who? Um, like Akiva and Art. Akiva, or Akiva, Andy. Andy uh, they're, they're great guys. You know, um, Yorma went to UCLA with me. Yeah. And uh, Akiva, I think, went to UC Santa Cruz. Andy went to NYU film schools, and uh, just. Three guys who made movies. They're, they're like, uh, they're normal down-to-earth guys. Okay. My hey, friend Chelsea. and I are, like, obsessed with this stuff, so... Chelsea, are, are you, awesome. you're really in the Carom Club. No, I'm not in it. They Who have one. one. Oh, yeah. But we have one. Talk about uh, getting tail. Yeah, I mean, when, once the chicks find find out you're in the Carom Club, <laughs> take, uh, take uh, the yeah. Carom Club uh, to the Lonely Island website and then go see Harold and Kamar go to White Castle opening tomorrow. Yeah, nice. Which Cal. is uh, nice, did all that? two thumbs up and a fantastic so I hear film, but came in second to uh, my film Windy City Heat at the oh. Montreal Comedy Festival uh-huh. is uh, that last right? weekend. Oh. I did yes, not know that. I, I hate to say it, Whoa. but we did take home the uh, whatever award for uh, and it, and Harold and Kumar go to White Castle were one of the Oh, movies that, that were oh, in no the uh, the group. I you know I don't like to brag. It's yeah. not my way. Yeah, sure. It's not my no, you way. Don't like to brag, but I got to give my props to Windy City Heat, which uh, has not well, gotten enough critically attention. Critically acclaimed. Thank nice. you. Very critically acclaimed. Nice. I should get you guys copies. You would yeah. love that film. We'll see it. All right, Drew, you saw it. Hysterical. Really? Laugh my ass off. Really? Most because you were behind me going. Did you see that? Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. But I was only in five minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Funny though. Yes. Very funny. 
Thank Who you. did that? What's the deal? Windy this City movie? Heat. Windy City Heat was a movie that we produced. It's uh, mainly uh, Jimmy Kimmel behind it, and uh, many other names you might not recognize. I just have a small part in it, and uh, we produced it. But uh, it is a movie about a guy who thinks he's making an action blockbuster movie, but he's not really making the movie. The movie he thinks he's starring in <clears throat> is called Windy City Heat, but the actual movie is the making of that movie, and he has no idea that that's the movie. This is bizarre. Does, this, think, sound, does thinks, this sound bizarre? He thinks all the cameras are sort of like a Project Greenlight thing. Can I, can I just oh, tell you? Okay. He I mean, thinks and it's this is, for this is, the DVD. So the actual movie is that. It, is that. And the move, but so there's scenes of the actual movie, yeah. but it's all behind the scenes stuff, and who gets the bigger trailer, and the auditions. That's cool. And the Japanese businessmen who are coming into town, who are pulling the financing out, and the porn, the pornographer who's from the Soviet Union who's coming in, who has ideas for changes. Now he's bankrolling the movie, and it's uh, it's it's an incredible sort of gas lighted. Farce, hmm. and that everyone knows what they're doing, and everyone is an actor, including you know PAs and stagehands and grips right. and That's cameramen. Cool. Everyone is everyone is in on it, but the star of the movie, who is the star of this movie too. This is loosely related, cool. but I did a movie called See This Movie, which is produced by the Whites Brothers, I, and uh, and it stars Seth Meyers from Saturday Night Live. Yes. And he plays the director. I play his producer. And we're idiots that get into the Montreal Film Festival, BS our way into it, without a film. Oh, really? And then we go to Montreal. And the, the we shot the movie at the Montreal Film Festival. And it's it's us trying to make a movie in the week's time that we're there. And that is the movie. In the, the time movie. for the screening. And that's the movie. And the movie is us holding a video camera. That's a great idea. It's it was, it's a good movie, I think. So we'll see what... I, th I think it should be out on Comedy Central, I think. That's oh, it is? When, yeah. when, you know when it's coming I, you out? You know, they're, they're, they're hedging until, until our movie comes out. Oh, oh really? Yeah. See if, uh, see if we make yeah, any money. Yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, I think uh, Harold and Kumar is going to do well, A, because it's getting a good buzz, uh, B, because it got the two thumbs up, and then C, I don't know what's coming out in the comedy genre there's, right now. There's not much, the village, especially for the next couple of weeks. No, the, the village is yeah, not... Very oh, it's not a comedy no, 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 no. 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 And Catwoman, which may be an unintentional <laughs> comedy, is uh, is out. But uh, I don't know what, what, what you're going up against. It seems uh, we're like we're in some sort of uh, dog days or dull drums or something. There's nothing nothing comedy out there that's yeah. inspiring anybody. And comedically, I don't think there's anything so, going on. What I'm telling you guys is that your film sucks <laughs> because there's ever, nothing Might there. Might make it We'll take it. We'll take credit for that, too. <laughs> right. You're you're like you're you're like a uh, fat chick who's left at the bar at four a.m. Yeah, you're you're gonna get some action. Yeah, but it's, not, it's not because you're hot. It's yeah. just because yeah. you're just the only one in there. Fat chick don't you're, care. And you're drunk. Nice. All exactly. right. You're loaded. <laughs> But you may get that prolapsed vagina. <laughs> <laughs> David? Hey, yo. You're 15? Yeah. What's I happening? I have a question before we get started. Um, I was wondering, are you ever going to go back to the man show? or is No. That? Well, we're, uh, we're not going to go back to that. They, uh, we they did are. 100 episodes, and then uh, we decided to leave, and uh, then they decided to keep the show going, and then uh, they canceled it. Oh. Uh. Okay, Sorry, well, that's my question. Um, I have a tendency to press on my urethra, whatever it is, like under my nutsack, whenever I masturbate, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it'll like, I'll have a full orgasm, but no semen will come out. Because mm -hmm. you're pushing it, you're directing it back up into your bladder. It's a smokeless cigarette. Yeah. yeah. I like the way he describes it as a tendency. Is, so it's sort is of, there any permanent it's damage? It drifts right? down to his perineum yeah. and it tends to press up with the force. He doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, he's, yeah. Trying, he's pressing his thumb through through his anus. Why, why, no why, problem. why are you doing this? So there's no mess. Why? Well, Kumar's yeah, in this. Yeah, so there's no <laughs> mess, so I don't have to clean it up. Come on. Yeah. Wow. Really, is that a concern? You haven't heard of this? No. This is the first time you're hearing of anybody doing this? Yeah. Yes. Do you not talk to your friends? Yeah. Maybe okay. my friends were different than your friends. What? Yeah. You redirect? Um, well, no, don't. Is that do dangerous? That. Is that dangerous? No. It's not, it's not like healthy and a like good thing, but it's not dangerous. Yeah. Right? Oh, everyone I knew was into does the it, retrograde. Does it yeah. come back out whenever you urine or what? Yeah, so it'll come back. Don't you think that's part of the charm, the release? <laughs> that's. I, I no. do. It's, it's like saying, I don't want to make a gourmet meal because I don't want to get the pans out and dirty them. 
It's like yeah, yeah, it's, it's all, all part of the process. Yeah, it, and it, it just it it, it the, the meal will be so delightful that uh, you spending ten minutes washing. I'm the pan very confused be. with the sperm and the meal and, and the, here's, the, the here's getting the, mixed. Up. Here's the thing too, uh, Drew, and don't correct me because I know I'm right about this. We'll you do this enough, this retrograde stuff. Yeah, this the semen does not get absorbed. It does not get pushed out the urethra. It will come out and it will come out at once and it will come out twenty years from now and it'll be during a business meeting. <laughs> <laughs> and in oh. gallons will come out. I'm talking like a 55 gallon drum of <laughs> semen uh, from the thousands of times oh, you did it no. since the ninth grade to now. Oh. Now you're 33. You're a successful businessman. Looks like you're uh. getting a promotion. You're, you're in a three piece suit, Mr. Jenkins. It's just called you over to his office. Pow! All over, your open, it, all uh, over him. It comes out of your nose, right? Everywhere, no, no, yeah. every orifice, yeah. and it sprays <laughs> out too, like a Ejaculates fire hydrant. Out your nose. That's wow. right. That's wow. right. I've wow. seen it. And then, buddy, then you got to uh, use all the tissues that you could have used. That's that right. You just Dry ejaculated properly. Oh, right. Right. No, you use tissue with interest. You will. You, <laughs> you will actually. You were using nine point six percent more <laughs> tissues than you would have used. Absolutely. But you save. I no, don't, you don't I save don't. on lube. That's a push. Yeah. That's a push. I don't mean to correct that. No. But it's yeah. usually, it's usually when you're meeting don't. the in-laws for the first time. When you're meeting the in-laws. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I'm very impressed with this guy, though, too. The uh, the amount of the, the thought. thought. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the, the technical. Yeah, to imagine yeah, that. That's, that's, that's masterful, buddy. And here's... <laughs> hey, let me tell you, my, aim and I'll tell you my thing with, uh, with the, with the uh, process of masturbation. I don't Please, like anything us. that I have to do right at the moment of impact. That, sure, to me, sure. lessens the experience. I don't care if it's r someone's ringing the doorbell yeah. or some or light flicks on and off. I don't want to yeah. have to do Anything. something. I don't want that. That's that. That's my moment. I, I need a, like three seconds of zen there yeah. where I'm doing nothing but beating off. It's you know like I mean? uh, it's like taking a picture when you're meeting the president. You want to focus on that moment right, instead that's of right. getting Remember your camera out hands. and uh, you know, doing the whole thing, posing. Yeah. Right, right. And when you're shaking his hand and you got your arm around, you don't want some guy going, hey, 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 over here, hey, yeah, over yeah, here, right. hey, over here. You just, you just want to take that, take the shot. Yeah. That's yeah. right, and yep. it will last forever. You're like, this is Michael Dukakis. I can't believe it. Can't that's believe that's what you want to be like. That's 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 right. I'm sorry. You chose Dukakis. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, take Berkeley. ourselves a break. But yeah. the idea that you're actually having to fish around yourself and actually I mean, you're, do you're something, reaching up like, under your nuts and pushing on the you have to hit square in the middle of the perineum. I mean, and you got to yeah, push hard. Yeah. Why don't you just floss? Right. Are you using now. the other hand or using the same hand that? Wait a minute. Where is he? Did I, he I don't want to know. I don't. You know, okay. He's doing it. Is what he's doing. Yeah. Does he have an, a friend? No, no, uh, okay. yeah. he does it. Yeah. No, for me, it's a two-manner. <laughs> when I go for retrograde, I use a midget, I use a midget's skull. He, oh, and he actually pushes up on his toes and forces. That's how I do. And I have to find a guy who's the right size, too, because if he pushes <laughs> too hard, I will, I will prolapse. I will rectally prolapse. Oh, God. Yes, it's true. It's wow. True. Yeah. Well, wow, the interview. Wow. I'm literally a millionaire. I can afford it. <laughs> He's safe. He's undercover. <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. He actually wears a Prussian helmet, Drew. That's Ow. how he does it. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I've actually, I've actually taken a Prussian helmet, it's the German type of helmet with the point on the top yeah. of it, and I actually put a tennis ball on the <laughs> end of it, <laughs> like an old that'll woman's work. walker, yeah, and then I use a midget to go up on his toes right at the moment. And and, and I'm kind of worried with your nuts the way they hang down. I, how'd, you, how'd you get the proper leverage there to get them out of the way? I, it's, it's, I, use, the I, I use a bunge. I use another midget to hold them out of the way. Oh, wow. And, and the, the code word is lift off. <laughs> <laughs> when he hears lift off, that means it's up on the toes. And, and nuts out of the way. And nuts out of the way. <laughs> yeah, lift off is the call. Okay. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's a circus. Uh. Oh, no. I got another guy working the VCR remote. I got the whole... <laughs> It's a three, it's a four manner. It's so one guy downstairs making a sandwich. One guy the for one, after. One guy's in the kitchen. Yeah. yeah, I'm like Elvis. He's he's frying up the bananas with the <laughs> with the peanut butter. And I got one guy who's solely devoted to the forehead. He blots me like a surgeon. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah, like a surgeon. I can nurse in there and they just get in there. <laughs> yeah, it's a four four five man gig. Yeah. We just got a call. We're gonna need a uh, midget apology for the, for the midget community. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Little people. Thank you. We'll uh, take ourselves a uh, quick break. We'll be right back after this. One hundred L O V E one nine one. Love line. We'll be right back. Hey, 
there, buddy. It's the Love Line. I'm Adam. That's uh, Dr. Drew, Cal Penn, John Cho. Yo. Here tonight, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. John, what did you say about Asians? <laughs> <laughs> love to study. They love Ow! that man. <laughs> Nothing wrong with them. They're good people. I defend them all the time. Yes? It's true. All right. Uh... We uh, the movie is coming out tomorrow. That is Friday. That is uh, nationwide. It's not uh, one of these artsy things. It's coming out in Chicago, New York. It no, is coming full... out. It's coming out everywhere. What was the budget on this film? Nine million dollars. <laughs> so it's a relatively small budget for uh, for big movie for standards. Wide wide release. Yeah, we actually didn't know when we were shooting it if it was going to get a release or what type of release it was getting. We, you know, it it, it seems uh, it's it's PG, right? It is a hard R. R. Hard R. R. Oh, is it? Oh yeah. Oh, oh I hard didn't know R. that. Yeah. I can't yeah. take my kids. No. Yeah, you can. No, no, How old no. They got to grow up. Eleven. No. They're four, no, no, four no, don't take no. They're eleven now. Ooh. You know, actually, uh, did, you know, I've been saying it is a hard R, but there is a kind of, uh, you know, it's not for violence. You know, it's no, all it's for language. It's which seems to be yeah. the thing with with America. We're like, we'll we'll let kids see violence. Yeah, uh, and what's and, wrong with that? Yeah, <laughs> right. But violence. everything else is off limits. You know what I mean? That's. But we're flipped. I feel like we we take it to the max on everything yeah. else: nudity, drugs. Yeah, here's yeah. The yeah. language. Yeah. But the really, the awful impulse that dads have is, well, I'll break my sons. You bring the sons, right. but not the yeah, daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. Yeah, listen. My dad brought me to see. He he didn't bring me. He went to see Peppy on, and he was too cheap to hire a babysitter when I was like eight. <laughs> and as most, uh, I'm still, I'm still have nightmares. Really, wake wake up screaming. Steve McQueen is uh, locked in French Guiana and uh, in in like the hell on Devil's Island. It's a true story. He's in lockdown. <laughs> He's eating cockroaches. There's uh-huh. gay sex. There's guys getting their heads cut off. He should have just brought me to see Caligula. He, he really, he really should. Better would have been better. At yeah. least I get half a boner out of it. This, I mean, you know what it's like when you know, it's like you're eight years old, and there's a scene where the guy removes the mosquito net, slides his hand down the shorts of the next guy, and puts a flower in his mouth. Like you're eight, and you're like, holy Christ, what the <laughs> hell? Why is that guy touching that other guy? Why did he put that flower in his mouth? <laughs> Another guy gets his head cut off. Steve McQueen keeps getting tossed down into the hole. Ah, it's like violent and weird and long, and I should I'm go- I should sue my dad. I really oh, should. Go. I'm going to sue idea. him. That should was I a trend for a while. Suing yeah. your parents? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to sue my parents. That's my thing. Do it. I'm going to do it. You're doing a Gary Coleman. You know Can what, though? That? I'm going to do a class action lawsuit against get- that. <laughs> well, everybody who comes in contact with me has to hear me constantly whine about what an oh my ass gosh. my dad is uh, and well, how cheap he is and everything. Imagine what they owe me. Oh, true. Oh, Oh, Drew, the heartache. Oh, seeing me in this condition, <laughs> and living with it. What about the people who are around me? The stewardesses who I get oh, drunk and throw the, the tirades yes, against. Yes. Oh yes, all, all the little people. Oh yeah, all the people of the critiques and the criticisms, all the anger that was really meant for the family that just gets vented out in society. You, the people who listen to the show, you'd be in on it. Any guests on the show? All the critiques yeah. and the criticisms. I negativity. You, you got, oh, the negativity. You guys, everyone would be included. Look at Chris. Everybody. He's like, oh, Chris. Oh, cool. Chris. What about all those attacks? Remember I've lashed out against you going to junior college at 27 and only taking one class and living still living home? at home? That's because my mom went to uh, Valley Valley College for 30 years. All that energy, <laughs> that's all meant for her. That's all meant for her. That is. Now but you coffee. could get in on some of that. But I do need a warm-up, buddy. Mike Chanel. Mike Chanel. Okay. But you know what I'm saying? You get in on that. Okay. Everyone's in on it. Here's the unfortunate part. My dad doesn't have any money. Oh. I'm leasing him a uh, car. Oh. So I think maybe we well, can take the I, well, car we could, I leased well, through him. him. <laughs> we can get to you, and you're a millionaire. Yeah, so you're okay, that's yourself. What we'll do. Yeah, that's, yeah, what that's what we'll do. That's what we're going to do. You're a literal millionaire. Well, I'm literally a millionaire, so we'll sue my dad, use the Corolla name as a bridge to, to me and my bank yeah, account, yeah, and empty that out. Yeah, everyone's up. in, and everyone's a winner. Yeah. This is yeah. a great plan. All right. All right. I'm confused. We've got to get to work on this. Lori? Yeah? You're 25? Yep. What's up? My boyfriend is not interested in sex as much as I am. Mm-hmm. What's he want to do? He just wants to sleep. When does he? How often does he want to have sex? Like once or twice a month. Mm-hmm. And what would you like well, to have? I like it every day. And did it always be? Was it always at this level, or did he used to be sort of more on his game? It was more before. How long like you guys been going out? Ago. Two years. Mm-hmm. So oh, the first year, how often was she? She's 25. 25. He's how old? 29. And during that first year, how often were you guys having sex? Probably three to five times a week at least. 
and suddenly it dropped way off. How's the relationship going? It's going pretty good. Is he on any medication? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm Stressful on Selexa, something. but I'm tapering off. No, him. Is he on medication? Oh, no. <laughs> hmm. Well, he, you say he wants to sleep. Yeah, he's tired all the time. Is he's he, not, is he I mean, working crazy out? Is he, de- is he depressed? I don't know. He's He's very stressed out. Yeah. Is he working crazy hours? Mm, maybe eight to ten hours a day. No. He's no. been stressed out at work and at home. And so. What's, what's going on at home? Um, his family. His parents are very um, is he, pressure. Does he it's live at home? Yeah. Oh, Chris, you should call about you. Oh, Chris, take your headphones off. I got to talk about it. <laughs> Guys, your peers, <laughs> your people, <laughs> your people. He's still living at home. He's he's twenty nine. He's twenty nine. Yeah. He works he works eight to ten hours a day. Yeah, about that. And has uh, to live at so home. so he's putting in like a forty five fifty hour week, and he's still living at home at twenty nine. Mm-hmm. What's up? Yeah, well, yeah. What does he do for a living? MIT. Am I? Computer. A what? Computer. Computer work. All right. MIS. So he, he makes a good living, right? Hmm. Uh-huh. Why is he living at home? Is he taking care of his parents? Is it extended family? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. No. But he they have a. Uh, what's that? He has no choice. He, yeah. Well, what do you mean he has no choice? He's twenty nine. Can he can he move out and float his parents a couple ducats uh, every month? He can't afford that. <laughs> All right, hold on a yeah, second. Yeah, I, I, this Lori is a handball against the curtains kind of thing. <clears throat> Lori is like either high or just sort of jacked up or doesn't doesn't track real well or that, that just, something. It feels like depression to me. Like yeah, and, and, she, and, she's and, not angry. She's not, not giving she's that not money. Angry, her part. but there's a ringing process to get information out of her. It feels like an energy, like having to pull. Keep it, like, 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 like I'm dragging her forward. Yeah, you know, like, yeah. Like maybe if, he feels it, that way too. I, I think if I were around her, I want to escape her gravitational pull. Right. Like if she was on one yeah. side of the house, I'd go to the other. If she mm-hmm. was uh, uh, first floor, I'd go down the basement. Yeah, there's something profoundly sad and depressing about uh, Lori. <laughs> Lori. Yeah. What's up, baby? Are you depressed? Yeah, I'm a little depressed. She's on Selexa. Or what happened to you? Were you abused? No. Your, no, your I dad's? just have a lot of up and down depression, in and big, out of depression for big like gal? big gal, seven years. You a big gal? No. No. What size I'm, are you? I'm a one ten. One ten. Five I six. Five six. That's a, more. That's morbidly obese in this town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we got to have you about about thirty mean. pounds if you're o- over five five. <laughs> uh, what's all the depression about? Um. I've just always gone through different depressions from loneliness, mostly. By the way, five six one ten is is, is wafy. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, uh, it is. You can put on a couple that's, pounds. That's normal for me. But I've always what, been that way. But this is there's something really missing here. You've got this relationship where you can't connect, and he's not having sex with you, and he's preoccupied with his family and work, and you're lonely and depressed, and yet you're in a relationship that's unsatisfying to you. What? What's going on? What? Do you have any kids? No. No. Why nope. not? Why not end this relationship and start a different? Yeah. Uh, I'm a, unemployed. I've been looking for a job for two years. Mm-hmm. How, about two years. Rela- how about any of this relate? How about any years? Two and a half. All right. No, just inertia. Yeah. Like inertia. Well, Laurie, here's the thing. Uh, I don't know why he works in, in the computer field and, and works make a 50 living. hours a week and can't make a living and is 29. I don't know why you can't find a job for two years. I don't know why you're profoundly depressed. And I don't know why you don't end this relationship. It's not working. And I don't know why you don't end this thing either. Yeah. But here's here's the deal, baby doll. You're calling from San Francisco? Lots of people. Mm-hmm. Best city in the world. Just dump the guy. You're 25. Maybe get your medication adjusted. You know what you need? You need long walks and classical music and some push-ups. And you know what? You need to pick yourself. Listen to me. You're wallowing in your in your own <laughs> self-loathing. You need to pick yourself up by your own bootstraps, Sweetie oh, P, oh. and kick yourself in the ass. Maybe with the, that sh- third the boot. shaman what? can help her out a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, hey, you think? you think? No, no, no. He's he's a gynecologist. Oh, come on, Lori, stop it. Let's go now. 25. Dump this guy. Screw him. He's living at home. You don't need him. I live at home too. All right. You oh. Live at home. Oh. oh. Wait, hold on. Is there a cra- I'm sorry. Hold your ears, guys. Chris, hold your ears, too. Is there some crazy nationality at work here that we need to know about? What? I was going to ask that, that but cult- I was a little scared it, to ask. Is it a cultural, is there a cultural thing? Because white, white people can't wait to move out and get away from their parents. True? 
how fast could you want to get out of the house at 14, right? <laughs> I want to get out of the house. When I came out of the vagina, I just started running. <laughs> I just started sprinting for the door, and then I felt the back. I felt the embryonic cord grab me. Yeah. Umbilical cord just grabbed me and tugged Don't me back, slingshot me back into my mother. And that's when the depression set in. <laughs> well, so, Lori, is there some cultural it's true. issues here? Start heading for the door. Lori? Yes? Are there some cultural manifestations uh, here we need to know about? Side. His side, which is what? Uh, his parents are very, they kind of treat him like a slave, so he right. doesn't. What? I got, I got a little bit of a theory going on here with this ki this cat. This dude yes. is like, he's working for his parents, um, basically. He's living his life for his folks. Uh, this girl, this girl... Was that? Hold on a second. Hey, you know what I love about Lori? Ironically, when you're asking her a question, Short it takes answer. her 20 minutes yeah. to get it out. And then when a guest comes up with a theory, she's got a she got a shoehorn in halfway. In. <laughs> Shut up. This Go. girl seems like a bit of a drag, yeah. yes. uh, if I may say so. And oh, she, my God. This, <laughs> this is, this is a, an maybe anchor he's, maybe with he's fecal pulling matter out. rubbed yeah. on it. But maybe he's a really enmeshed guy with a family doesn't know how to uh, break relationships. This, yeah, this guy, yeah, this guy is is Mr. Obligation. He's pulling he's, out. Uh, I've started this relationship, yeah. and I will see this through. Uh, she is unattractive yeah. to me. She is a drag. I hate talking to her. I don't know her. how to end it. I will yeah, make and, her end it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, There's and, a lot of people, by the way, who will just, they won't quit their job. They'll get fired by screwing up enough right, so the right, boss right, finally right. fires them, and she's the boss that won't fire the horrible employee who's been caught stealing many times and Xeroxing his ass and urinating it's in getting, the sink. Getting a little cathartic out of please. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think of the sink part got cathartic. Yeah. Laurie. The ass and the Xerox What is machine. his nationality? Vietnamese. Ah, aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. All right. Let's just break up with him, would you? All right, and, and it, it's just, uh -huh. that don't call the show anymore, and and treat yourself, would you? All right, take, bye. Take, take, take care of yourself. Take your take your medication. Yeah, pep up. Let's go. I there, there's 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 no no stop that. For, <laughs> here's what I'm saying. There 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 are people out there that are genuinely depressed and have a reason to be depressed, and then there are those for which depression has become a lifestyle, and it's almost more comfortable for them. It's almost and, personality And it becomes sort of a, clut, a yeah. crutch, yeah. in a sense. And, and, and you get to feel, feel like they kind of like the sympathy, and they kind of they enjoy the, the miserable lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And then they end up making everyone around them yeah. miserable. To those people who are not abused, who are not, uh, who not have chemical imbalances, who not have uh, problems that are so great that they a little therapy and a uh, little change of lifestyle couldn't Those help. Those are the people you can just make change. Start doing it. Yeah, just yeah. Change. Start, feel free. You know, start juicing. Start juicing. Go run and walk. <laughs> Jake, start juicing. Do you hear me, everybody? <laughs> you take that. Let me tell you something, everybody. You take that carrot juice. You mix it with some of that beet juice, some fresh pressed apple juice. Take a couple shots of wheatgrass. You put on a little uh, Turn him Tchaikovsky, down, and you take a long walk. And you, and all of a sudden, depression just melts away. And so do the pounds. <laughs> so do the pounds. <laughs> Everything melts away. And you and get the you prolapse get the rectum. You know, I'm just saying, stop stop feeling sorry for yourself. Get out and do something. A little exercise is a good place to good start. Thing. Breaking a sweat. Yeah. Breaking yeah. a sweat. Gets you going. She needs to break a sweat. She's still here? No. Okay. No. We got rid of her. Lord, Actually, Adam she, told her never to call the she show. Did, and she killed herself. <laughs> Let's go. No, no. Don't. Just look, take your meds you and start walking. On, no, we're not taking. We're not walking. They're walking. You put on some classical music, start juicing, and start walking, Drew. I'm doing a show. Dana? Hi. Dana, you're 22. Yeah. You're calling from Bakersfield. Oh. Worse than wow. Lodi. Wow. Yeah, Bakersfield's a hellhole. Wow. It is a dump. What's going on? Very good. Old. Your dad's in jail. My, I'm not exactly sure if he's in jail or he's out. I don't know where he is if he is. Good times. You don't know where he is. So you're close. Now here's the thing about Bakersfield. Your dad, the, you could be in jail and still be the mayor. Oh, oh. Because yeah. everyone in, in Bakersfield is incarcerated, so you have to... <laughs> oh, my. Oh, yeah. Horrible town. Go ahead, Dana. I was just wondering if I unconsciously mess up my life or do bad things just happen to me? No, well, you, you, oh, no, hold on. That's complicated. We yeah. got to take a little break. All right. I got to choose. I got to walk. I got to listen to uh, Mozart. Yes, true. Tchaikovsky. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, oh, you should see how I spelled that the other day. <laughs> Boy, was that scary. Oh, that, <laughs> you want to know what a retard I am? You should have seen that written down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's take ourselves a little break. What do you say? Yeah. 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 Harold and Kumar. Go to White Castle, everybody. <laughs> That's right. Tomorrow. And it's start, about starting in like uh, 18 minutes. Yeah. We'll uh, take ourselves a quick break. We'll be right back. Hello. This is
It's your radio. radio. Love line will be right back. True. Yeah. What are women most attracted to? Confident guys. That's right. You can't buy that confidence. At least you couldn't until now. What do we got? You got Axe deodorant body spray. Oh, my God. Spray that on. It's like slathering on the confidence. <laughs> hey, everybody. Don't you hate when the uh, show is interrupted with the show? I do. Well, no, it interrupts our conversation. Yeah. Cal Penn here tonight. Also, John Cho from Harold and Kumar go to White Castle coming out tomorrow, everybody. Good times. Nationwide. Yeah. Do it. Along with Drew's book, When Vicodin Kills. When Oxycontin Kills. <laughs> when, when it, whatever it is. When painkillers become dangerous. Go I'm, out I'm doing and get it. I'm doing it. Go I'm out and get that book. I got to do Good Morning America. That sounds a little bit like a Judy Blum book. Wait, Let's wait, face I gotta, yeah. Four in the morning, and then I got a radio tour for two hours. Oh, we're doing, we're doing the, the radio tour thing. tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting I'm up gonna, at four. I'll be tag teaming you guys through yeah. some of this. You're doing it in a studio or for phones? Uh, studio. studio. Oh. Where are you doing it? Is Someplace it in Santa Monica. I don't know. Oh, that just blows. Yeah. yeah you'll be up for three hours. This is my, I'm going through the coffee regret. You know, there's like yeah. that, that delicate balance all through the day. How much? How just, little? Just, just mainline it tomorrow morning at, in, in in three hours. To what time? <laughs> what time, Drew? What time do you get up? Be I'll get honest. up. I'll get up at three forty, and I will be wrapped about eight thirty. Three forty. Wow, dude, John, you're getting what rocked. Time? What time, Cal? What I time think we're get? getting up at four four thirty. Four thirty. Yeah. All right. Here's what I want everyone to do: set your alarm for four ten. Wake up. See how horrible you feel. See how dark it is outside. Realize that yeah. John and Cal and Drew are all up, <laughs> brushing their teeth and putting on deodorant. Just sit up for a second, take a couple of beats, and then flop back into bed and pull the blanket over your head because well, it's all a relative thing. Yeah. It's like it feels so. I, I love uh, Drew. What time again? Three forty-five. Yeah, I'll tell you what I might do. I might just stay up until just three. Just, <laughs> just three forty-five. Just so I can yeah. just be awake when you're getting up, and then I'm going to go. Man, am I going to go turn it? No, you know what? I'm going to beat off. Then I'm turning oh, it. No, then I'm but don't forget to retrograde to wear oh, the, the helmet with, with the, the depression helmet, the tennis ball. <laughs> wow, you pay those guys overtime. They're lift gonna, off. They're going to be yeah. there at three in the morning. Lift off. <laughs> lift off at three forty-five. <laughs> By the way, is it, is there any ball used for more things than <laughs> than what it was made for than a tennis ball? Like yeah. when when you're on when, yeah, you're, when you right. go when you go yeah. do a shoot, it's on the bottom of the camera that's on the boom. You know, the, the it's uh, on the people. Grandmother's walker has it. Sometimes you'll see the canes. You'll have at the end of any. Anything sharp will be a whole. It's using like fishing and stuff. Yeah. Tennis ball for dogs using the hell out of the tennis yeah. ball. What what more than the tennis ball? More use than anything. Yes. Really, yes. It, not not, not only the ball category may kick the ass of even uh, Vaseline yeah. or or duct tape. Ooh, the, duct ooh, tape. I don't know, ooh. brother. No, you're right. Duct tape, right? No. Right. No. You may be right. I, I work with a guy who fashioned a wallet out of duct tape. <laughs> that's how many things. That's that's how good it is. Dana. Yeah. So you're wondering if you in your you, dad's in jail. I'm not sure if he's in jail. I haven't You've had a tough upbringing. All right, your sister died. Yeah, my sister passed away, and five days after that, my son was born. Mm. Oh, okay. So I and couldn't, uh, I couldn't be really sad about my sister dying because I was I had a newborn child. Well, Dana, the extraordinary wow. thing about the human being is that when we have traumatic experiences, particularly when we're growing up. We have this uncanny ability to be attracted to people who will reenact those traumas with us. Mm -hmm. It's an unbelievable, bizarre inclination that humans have, which is this repetition compulsion of unpleasant and traumatic experiences. So you, do we, we repeat, we, we get to the, we uh, sort of recreate the circumstances. Do we try to change it? Is that we don't know what we're doing. Is? All we know is we're it feels good and we're attracted to these circumstances. Because it feels familiar? It's, yeah. it's more of a drive and an attraction. It's like think think of people that will have to be with guys that are abusive. <clears throat> they don't know the guy's abusive. He seems like a nice guy, but it's just attracted to him. No, it's very attractive. I was like, hey, it's just a midget impression helmet. <laughs> Little did I know. <laughs> Lift off. Little did I know. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> you know. I seem like a nice guy. I'm just wondering what the original trauma was. All right, Dana, what was the original trauma? No, for you. Oh, for, for me? For I will say this. Can we just say this? The Cal in the movie, Harold and Guma go to White Castle. <laughs> You're taking it there. <laughs> he, he has sex with a bag of weed. Yes. Uh, and inside wow. that bag of weed is a little person. And it's one of my favorite sequences, man. Wow. It's very Thank erotic. You. See Thank it. You. See it for the hump, it was hot. hump the kilo yeah. yes. scene. Hey, uh, hey Dana, mm -hmm. what was your uh, original trauma other than being raised in Bakersfield. I wasn't really raised. I just live in Bakersfield now. Mm. 
Um, so you're punishing yourself. <laughs> yeah. That's part of reenacting. Moved there after uh, Harvard. What, what happened? Yeah, did your, did your dad abusive? No, my dad was actually, like, the good parent. Oh, the one who may be in the joint or maybe yeah. maybe somewhere else? Yeah, my mom how, was the one that, like, emotionally and physically abused me. How come you don't have any contact with the good parent? I, he went to jail, and then he just disappeared. He yeah, never, it happens to a lot of good dads. You know, they go to the ones, joint, yes, they, they just they lose well, contact the through parent. no fault of their own, except for the crime <laughs> they committed. What's that, Dana? He was just the better parent. Right, it's a relative thing. Yeah. You had horrible... So, um, uh, junky felon dad seemed like the the good one compared yeah. to horrible wicked witch mom. Yeah. All right. And by the way, d don't have any more kids, please. I'm not. No. Please, no. please, no more kids. I want to have a hysterectomy, but they said I'm too young. Um, no, just use birth control, right? This, this girl could, is so weird. I'm on the shot. Okay, okay, good. Now, the guy who uh, sired uh, your child, is he anywhere around? No, he's gone. He disappeared when I was three months pregnant. Shocking. Of course. Of course. Okay, probably best. Probably yeah. bad so, guy. Uh, the question is, is she, is she created or the bad things just happen? You created. <clears throat> Even if they're just happening, they're happening by virtue of the fact that you're putting yourself in environments where they're apt to happen. Right. So here's, here's the deal. You were almost hobbled at birth by your horrible parents. You have an injury. You must rehab. Yes. That's, that's about therapy. That's about making good decisions on behalf of you and behalf of your child. And walking and Tchaikovsky. Juicing. And juicing, yes. I, I, <laughs> listen. Watching the White I, Castle I, film. I, I swear. Yes. I love the juicing. I swear. <laughs> to, I listen, I swear to Christ, people do not have the facilities to go. I, first off, I don't think they allow okay. therapists. I only talk just one call. Real no, real no. Real Here's, real real you talked them off there here's my point here's my point people don't have 90 bucks an hour to hand to a guy with a, a tweed jacket mm -hmm. and, a, and a bad uh, bad comb over they don't have it 12 you step. can 12 step uh you can uh, like i said just start go getting up early and exercising mm -hmm. just just sort of get, here's what you need to do you need to get used to sort of structure, master structure. yourself yeah. structure and mastery it's like i don't feel like jogging five miles saying i'm gonna too bad i'm gonna do it start breaking yourself down a little i want to eat i want to eat i want to eat this piece i want to eat a cream puff no i'm not gonna do it i'm gonna eat an apple <laughs> just start breaking yourself start disciplining yourself start getting yourself to do do the right things instead of the wrong things you'll have a good life yeah. but you got you got you got to master yourself huh. all right you get that midget with the tennis ball and you're gonna master yourself tonight that's right it what time <laughs> Liftoff time. 345. That's where the countdown begins. Wow. Uh, we really all know when he's yeah, doing we it. We have wow. ignition. Yes, we do. He didn't say which time that will be, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that'll be three. Yeah. That'll be Sequentially going, when, I'll be uh, going for the hat trick around 345. <laughs> we'll take a uh, quick break. We'll be... Get it, hat trick with the... <laughs> yeah, thank you. We'll be... <laughs> you shut Whoa. up. Where are you going, Drew? Sit down. You're not going anywhere. All right, we got to take a break. <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, guys. Here's the deal. You looking to hook up? Sick of wasting time with the wrong person? Dateline. One call is all you need to make. Call the Dateline. 877-889-DATE. Call the Dateline. Uh, oh, yeah. Everybody now. Loveline will be right back. This hour brought to you in part by Axe. Experience the Axe Effect. That's it. I want to thank John and Cal for uh, coming in here tonight. You guys thank were you delight. Guys. Thanks. Smart, Thanks for sharp. having us. Thank you. Sharp. Thank you. Bushy. Uh, broad, bright-eyed bright and bushy-tailed kids. I like that. Not Thanks. depressed at all. No. <laughs> Harold and Kumar go to White Castle, everybody. Coming out uh, tomorrow. I want to thank uh, Phone Screener Brian for doing a wonderful job for uh, just about every night, except for the night, evidently. Engineer uh, Anderson, the magic finger one, the Liberace of the potentiometer, is doing a fantastic job. I want to thank Engineer uh, right. Chris for uh, doing a great job and really uh, stretching that 10 bucks an hour he gets on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Every night, I mean, $20 before taxes. And still coming in here and doing a wonderful job. I want to thank Junior, 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 <gasps> Junior Producer, Junior, 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 Junior Producer, Lauren, for doing a great job. And, of course, uh, Producer Ann for booking great guests and being on top of the scene all week. And until next time, this is Adam Carolla for Dr. Drew saying... Mahalo. We'll take a quick break. Am I boring you, Drew? 
always. This has been Loveline. Loveline. The opinions expressed on this show are not necessarily those of the staff, management, sponsors, or the station. The, the, the producer for Loveline is Annie Gold. Loveline is a presentation of Westwood One Entertainment.